Hi, I'm Emily Taytek from the Wilton Test Kitchen, and today I'm here to show you how easy it is to add color to your buttercream. I have a few tools here. I've got my buttercream in a bowl, I have a silicone spatula, I've got some paper towels, a lot of toothpicks, and then I've got my icing color. Today I'm going to be using rose. So it's super, super easy, and adding color to your buttercream just makes your cake pop that much more. So I'm going to take a clean toothpick and dip it into my icing color, and the icing color is super concentrated, so always know that a little bit goes a long way. But it's also really nice because it's a gel, it won't change the consistency of your icing like a liquid icing color might do. So I'm just going to take my spatula and mix in my color. And as you can see, almost immediately the color starts to evenly distribute in my buttercream. And I really, really, you know, I like this pink. I think it's super pretty, super vibrant. But if you wanted to make it a little darker or maybe add some orange or, you know, another color to it, always start with a new toothpick. That's why I said have a bunch. And again, I'm just going to dip it in and go back into my icing. And you always want to start with a new toothpick because you don't want to add icing into your icing color and contaminate it. So as you can see, that little bit extra just made my icing pop that much more, so I think I'm good on this color. But for colors that are a little more difficult, like black or red, we have a few tips for you. If you want to have a true black, we recommend starting with a chocolate icing. That way you don't have to go as far from white to black. And then if you're doing a true red, like a fire truck red, use Wilton No Taste Red because it's formulated to not give you that bitter taste that you can sometimes get with other red icing color. And remember that it's the same exact process if you're doing this for color flow or royal icing, but just remember that as the royal or the color flow dries, the color's going to get a little darker. So just keep that in mind when you're sh um, picking your shade. So for more tips and techniques and inspiration on how to use your colored icing, visit Wilton.com.